Well, you should already know that variables in programming are simply some sort of containers where we can store everything. As in other programming languages, in Python we can store numbers, text, lists, files, data and all kinds of objects. It is very easy to create a variable in Python. Just pick a name for a variable and store something on it. I am creating a variable here and assigning it a number. So, potato price equals 3. And yet another value in this other variable, amount equals 2.5. Notice here that we implicitly declare the data type stored in the variable. In many other programming languages, you'd have to write something like um, int potato price to declare that the variable will be an integer. So int stands for integer. And after that, you'd store the value inside your variable. In Python, however, you don't have to write that much. Indeed, if the number you are assigning to your variable is a whole number, Python understands that and makes the variable an integer type. But I'll tell you more about data types in the next lectures. For now, let's check the data type that our variables hold. And we can do that using the type function. So we're gonna print out the type of the data that our variables hold. So to do that, type print and then open brackets and inside the brackets we'll write what to print out on the screen. So in this case we want to print the variable data type and the data type is generated by the type function. So type and then we pass in the value in the type function which in this case is a potato price variable. So Python tells us that the value of the potato price variable is an integer and also let's check the, the other variable as well. Print again, type, and then we enter the other variable. And the value of the other variable is a floating point number, called float for short in Python. <coughs> and I'll tell you more about data types in the next lectures. And a few more stuff now. Uh, you can assign any other values in the existing variables as well. Even different data types from what the variable currently holds. So here I'm gonna assign a string to my potato price variable. Strings are like text, but we'll cover that later. So potato price equals free for today. And the variable we'll have discarded its previous value by keeping the new one.